Am I the asshole? For causing my coworker to lose a $500 tip. I am currently in my senior year of college. I am working a serving job at a mid level restaurant, bills typically $100 for drinks, food, appetizers, dessert for two people. I have been working here for 10 months. My parents usually come in every Friday with my uncle and aunt. They are usually sat in my section and they tip me extremely well $200 bill and $100 dip just because they're my family. My manager has no issue with this as I do not give them extras more attention I just treat them like a normal customer. He is aware of the tip and my parents will usually order drinks at the bar and tip the bartender as well so they spend a lot here. He knows them and talks with them when they are here because he appreciates their business. Unfortunately my manager is out because his wife is sick so he is on leave for 6 months. We have a temporary manager named Barb. Barb is very strict and follows the rules. Barb has been here for 2 weeks and has seen my parents twice and she asked me the second time. When I told her it was my parents she made a weird face. I should also note I have a coworker named Tina who hates that I serve my parents and get a huge tip. She was always complaining to my old manager but he never cared. I left and I don't work until tomorrow. I feel like an asshole because I bet she was really excited to get the huge tip. I am afraid to go back in as people have been talking about it. Am I the asshole? But. But. But they did tip Tina? It's obvious that they tip you better because you're family, why the heck would Tina expect to be treated the same? Not the asshole. Weird question how come your family can't give you the $500 out of work? While you're not the asshole. You were kind of bragging that was your upcoming tip and obviously Tina wanted that tip. She still got tipped well but not the $500. Keep those money comments to yourself unless you want to be stuck in an uneasy situation like this. Before I forget, Tina and temp manager were probably in on it because I find it funny she intercepted the day they came in. Not the asshole but I'd stop bragging about 500 pounds tips to your co-workers. You're only getting tips that large because it's your parents, not because you're providing better service. It's great your parents want to supplement your wages but could they not do it another way? Edit to finish comment, hit ender too soon. Lol while not the asshole, what is wrong with you? Are you okay in the head? Why would you go around work bragging about a $500 tip your family is coming to leave you? You must be really young and dumb, chalk it up to a lesson learned and keep your business to yourself. Workmates are not your friends, stop treating them as such. You're the asshole BC this is unprofessional and bragging in front of your coworkers is so tacky. If your parents want to bankroll you, they can do it at home without giving the illusion you're actually working for it. Woman face palming. Flaunting your money or bragging about it will get you in this situation. It's cute the family wants to tip you but $500 in the restaurant not keep it out there just as a gift away from work imagine some other person hearing that you have $500 cash on you then you get robbed. Also that girl was not your parents or family will tip better I'm glad they put her in her place anyway don't brag about this kind of thing. Bragging is so tacky. Hope you learned your lesson. Ash. Tina and Barb are worse, but yes H. I have a coworker named Tina who hates that I serve my parents and get a huge tip. I was talking about this all week and talking about how I knew I was getting $500 as a tip because it's my birthday soon. You knew your coworker was sensitive and your manager was an ass, and rubbed it in all week anyway. Info Why do you need to brag about your birthday tip at work? Keep it to yourself. This is literally an avoidable situation. ESH Tina for screaming at you and feeling entitled to a specific amount of money, you for saying I was talking about this all week and talking about how I knew I was getting $500 as a tip because it's my birthday soon. That's not a tip, it's a birthday present. This is why you should keep business and personal life separated. ESH. You for bragging about how much money your parents give you to your co-workers. Barb and Tina for making a big deal about it and trying to sabotage you and deny paying customers the chance to be served by the server of their choice. Your parents for giving you birthday gifts in the form of tips, needlessly forcing you to be taxed on them. ESH. Anyone with common sense should have realized that your parents aren't going to give your birthday gift to some random person. But it's not cool to brag to your coworkers about the upcoming $500 tip. So many people live paycheck to paycheck and bragging about an upcoming cash inflow will always cause you resentment. It's also weird your parents are giving you this money in a manner that will require to be reported as income and taxed. ESH you shouldn't brag about how much your parents tip you even outside of the $500 but Tina is a moron if she actually thought she was going to get your birthday money. How can there are this many stupid people in one place? This must be made up. 
You brought this on yourself bragging about an expected $500 tip. You should have kept that to yourself knowing how your other co-worker felt. ESH ESH 1 OP for bragging about an extravagant expected tip to family, only slightly for using excessive tips as rewards, but full on us for using an extravagant tip is a bizarre way of presenting a birthday gift while OP is working. 3 Substitute Manager for pretty much every action and attitude in this story. 4 Co-worker for being egregiously entitled and ignorantly thinking as he would get the same tip as a family member, which leads directly back to 1. Edited because I inadvertently made the whole post in huge letters by using a hashtag to number the bullets. And Stop bragging about how much your family tips you. Why don't they just tip you like a normal person and give you money outside of work? It really makes an unfair work environment. Very unprofessional. ESH. ESH and you should really stop bragging about the tips your family leaves for you. You led up to this all week and are really surprised at this outcome? I'm going to tell you that this behavior is irritating to every other server around you, even if they say it isn't. Also why can't your parents gift you your birthday present in private? Why does it have to be in a tip form? ESH you know your parents are giving you an overinflated tip as a way to give you pocket money. Why are you bragging about it? It's not a real tip. It's not like you have regulars that love you, or you're doing a fantastic job serving and being rewarded. You're serving your parents and apparently cosplaying being working class. They suck because of course they're not going to give an overinflated tip to someone they don't know. This whole thing is a weird game they're playing with you, not just random waitresses. It was never a possibility that Tina would get the same amount. They ESH I mean she didn't actually lose a $500 dollar tip because no one tips the waitress more than the bill unless they're loaded or family. They did short her a little but only by about $5. However, I don't understand why your parents don't just give you your birthday money as a present separately. Why are you making such a big to-do over how much your family tips you when they come and why go on for a week that you know they're tipping you $500 when they come? You're partially to blame here. You help to create the animosity against you. ESH because Barb is straight up saying that she expected your family to give her the same tip, as if your family was giving you the tip about service. Yeah she's out of line for trying to rail on you like you cost her a payday when that payday wasn't coming. But I think you and your family are assholes for exchanging such large sums of money at your workplace. Them giving you humongous tips so you can brag on your co-workers that you got huge tips is wrong. If your family wants to give you money, they should be doing it on off time. ESH. Your manger sucks for not letting you serve your family. Tina shouldn't have expected a $500 tip. But you shouldn't be bragging about things like that. ESH Honestly, your parents' weird little game of giving you your birthday present as a tip is so strange. Why is your family giving you what are clearly gifts at work? That's not a tip for good service. It's a gift. Given in public, in front of co-workers. Would your parents do this if the restaurant split the tips? Not the asshole. However, you've learned a valuable lesson. Never boast about money to co-workers. You've seen firsthand how nasty things can become. What your family tipped you was no one's business but yours and theirs. And if it's causing problems at your work, tell them to tip you normally and see you outside of work to shower you with a $500 birthday gift. Perhaps the big problem was you gloating all week about the big tip. If you had kept your mouth shut, it wouldn't be a problem. We will never know. Use it as a lesson, ESH. I was talking about this all week and talking about how I knew I was getting $500 as a tip because it's my birthday soon. Are you kidding me? Overshare much? Why on earth would you be saying this and flaunting about money at work all week? And has your ridiculous family who expects to come in regularly and disrupt the server rotation system never heard of a cash inside a birthday card? If you and your family want to catch up with each other and they want to give you birthday cash then do it in your own time not at work. You're the asshole. ESH You're the asshole. It's usually against company policy at almost all restaurants that you never discuss tips. If it's not a policy then it's one of those unwritten rules. You're the asshole ESH your family really shouldn't disguise a present as a tip. Also, lording over your co-workers that you are going and have been getting big tips even if due to family is a shitty thing to do. If your place did tip sharing would you share that tip? But it's a present. Everyone who works with you must be at most a little annoyed by all of this. You didn't cost the other person their tip, because that seems like your family's normal tipping, but you did make it seems very much like you did. You're the asshole. It makes it appear you are wealthy, slumming it and rubbing it in their face. They should give a standard tip and gift you afterwards, 
Guess it could be ESH. ESH, you shouldn't have shot off your mouth about an anticipated big tip. Barb should have just sat your family in your section. If there were issues with your professionalism Barb should have spoken to you or formally written you up. Tina was delusional to expect your family to tip her the same. If it comes up, just say, you got 20 tip, why are you complaining? I wouldn't expect your family to overtip me, why do you expect my family to overtip you? You're the asshole why don't they just give you the $500? Paying it as a tip only makes it taxable, and you've unnecessarily created conflict and drama with your co-workers. FYI, it's also rude and classless to be bragging to your co-workers about money you're being gifted. Tipping culture sucks. America you're the asshole for making workers in the service industry behave like this instead of legislating for a proper living wage for employees to do their job. You're the asshole for bragging. Not the asshole. She really expected to get your birthday present instead of you? Give me a break. Not the asshole. Ask Tina if her parents are going to give you her birthday money. It is not a 100 tip for a $200 dinner. It is a normal tip and some gift money. Very simple. Barb and Tina are some special type of dense. Not the asshole. They tip you bigger because they are your family. Why would the other girl expect the same treatment? Maybe their family should come in and they can be their server and get the tip. Not the asshole. Your parents gave her over 15. They are stupid because it was obvious your parents were tipping that high because it was you. Has you not spoken to your mom they would still tip that 65, maybe even less. Why did Tina and Barb even know that your parents were planning to give you $500? Sounds like you were bragging about it at work. Also why can't your parents just give you money in private? Why do they have to make a public show of it in front of the other waitresses? Sounds to me like you and your family are DA.